uh, some 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 injury updates. Whitick wasn't practicing. Oh, just precautionary. Just Everybody's fine. Everybody's, Everybody's fine. fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Nick won't be good to go. To? Well, he's he's not. He's got a sprained ankle, but um, he's has has another issue. It's not an injury issue that kept him out today. What about Pedroza and Haynes? They look fine. Oh, they look fine. You got another shot at another Big Ten brand name opponent. Can you learn something from the previous matchup with Ohio State to take into another big brand name? Well, without question. One, we're not going to be intimidated. We're going to go in and play. This is a very physical football team, probably a little more physical than uh, Ohio State as far as physicality. But, you know, we're not going to be intimidated. We know what we're getting into. The, it's loud. I've coached there before. And we're just going to go play. We're going to do what we try to do best. And, you know, we need to stay healthy, obviously. And, and uh, I don't think we'll be intimidated. In fact, I know we won't. Is that as good of a college football town that everybody advertises it to be? It really is. I've been there a couple of times. It's really fun. Those people enjoy it. And then have to play them at 7.15 at night. You know what they're going to be doing all afternoon. <laughs> That's especially for you, right? Because they never play at night. Yeah, it's, it's weird as heck. I, I mean, we, we're trying to figure out what to do with, with all day Saturday. You know? Do you think going into the horseshoe and having that atmosphere is going to help these guys prepare for something like that? Yeah, no question about it. No question about it. Uh, they're they're very good at home. They're on like a 34 win streak in terms of non-conference opponents. How do you what do you think about that? Yeah, nothing. One game at a time. One game at a time. Their offense. They're not going to hide it. We all know what exactly what they're going to do. They're going to do one thing. Ohio State tried to do a lot of things. Is it harder when they're going to do one thing and you know what it is well, they're going to do? Th you do, but they have an awfully good quarterback. And just when you think you got it locked in, he'll 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 do something. He'll throw the football on you. So I know our guys are very concerned. We have to be able to stop the run. I understand that their, their running back may not play, but I'm sure they have others that are just as good. So you know we have to prepare for it all. That's a very very good quarterback. You're going to be reunited with your uh, former. Uh defensive backs coach Durante Jones, I hope I said that correctly. What edge does that give them knowing that he's worked under you? I, I have no idea. I have no idea. That's none of my concern at all. Uh, Dave's had a lot of success out there as a defense coordinator. I think in his tenure, they've been like fourth or something in the total defense throughout his tenure. Um, what do you think his challenges will provide you defensively this week? Who's that, the coordinator? Dave Aranda, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm more worried about the defensive lineman than I'm about Dave Aranda. Yeah. We're good coach. All right. Um, Thanks, wait, uh, so, sorry. Just um, talk about a little about J Gerald Garcia Williams and his play this week. Well, that, what it, he really brought. To yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was fun to see him. He, you know, he's been through a long rehab. He had a real tough knee injury, and and it's fun to see him play like he's playing. We need to make sure he stays healthy. Um, he's he's a very instinctive guy. He's playing it on the inside, which he hasn't done before, but um, uh, you know, it's just nice to see. You lose Hitner and Henderson. What, I guess, what does that, what, how does that impact the team? Well, not, not much. Uh, you know, we have another long snapper. We're in, in com competitive stuff. You know, you, you feel bad for Brian and Trevon. Not, don't worry about our football team. We had Noah stepped up, did a nice job snapping. Our safety stepped up. You just feel bad for Brian. It's his senior year. He wanted to finish it, but it's best that he call it off. And, and you know, he's got a long life to live. Man, I think everybody is ready at this point. Um, you know, we had that experience of going in Ohio State, you know, that, we proved to some, like some of the countries that we could play with these guys. And with this experience that we went to Ohio State is, is great. I think everybody is ready. Everybody's on point. The coaches are ready. And, you know, giving us a great game plan that we all can be, you know, well played and, you know, fundamental sound. Well, you just try to build on it. You know, we made some things in that Ohio State game, some mistakes and stuff that we need to get corrected. You know, we didn't do a good job last week against Davis, in my opinion. So you got to come back and you got to play with the intensity level that you played with against Ohio State. And, uh, you know, that's where we got to grow. I expect us to play Wisconsin just like we did Ohio State. We're going to hit them, we're going to get after them. And uh, hey, it's a fun environment. They're sold out. Camp Randall's a great place to play. It's loud. And hey, you got to get a team that's going to pound you. So let's go play. Gerald just, he bought into what we're doing. He's reading his keys. He had a, one of those games. It was a phenomenal game. One of the better games I've seen out of inside linebacker in 10, 15 years. Team Tackle, man, that guy, he's, he's, that guy is, I tell you, he works hard. He works his butt off every single day. And with that guy, we, we just, you know, we, we, um, we're trying to feed off his energy and stuff like that. So when everybody's working together, everybody can make plays and everybody's doing their job. One individual, one individual can shine like that. So. I'm, I'm just grateful our team just doing their job and you know that guy hats off to him man. he he worked his butt off on the offseason with his knee hats off to Gerald man he's a great kid 
I'm just grateful to be back on the field after um, that injury. So, I mean, I still got a lot of room for improvement, so I, I, I can't settle for what I did last week. I think overall our defense is pretty solid. We could have did a better job of holding uh, UC Davis to less points, less yards. But uh, I think we work as a unit, the DBs, uh, the front, and the linebackers. So.